I must go to the central news agency. I am at the press agency where bullying works. What do you want? It would be very informative to search Bulling's desk before meeting him, but first I must get rid of this bothersome person, perhaps by offering him a scoop. Good evening, I am looking for Tom Bulling, the journalist. He is an heir. He must be sleeping off somewhere. He gave me a tip. He wanted to save a scoop for me. He always gets a good dirt, and yet when he comes in here it's just to warm his behind. Look, he pulled his desk over the stove. Listen, Scoop, I'm bringing it over. Only if Bulling isn't here, I'm leaving. Wait, what's this, Scoop? Bulling promised me a reward for info. There's a charlatan who does spiritualist seances that are a little bit special. He steals corpses from the morgue, puts makeup on them, dresses them up, and then uses them as puppets. I'll give you your juice. We'll pay you if this info is true. I'll write down the address of the hideout on the crook's leaflet, but the police will be in on this one, so you better get there in time. Understood. I'll go alone. Too bad for bullying. Hey, you wouldn't have a little something in advance. Look on bullying's desk. I know that he always leaves a few coins around for his snitches. Cheers. Watson won't be pleased that I'm divulging the case, but I don't see any other way. Even handwriting, yet fairly recognizable. This is Bulling's desk, the one closest to the stove. Some coins. I will take them. That will avoid suspicion if the journalist returns. This may come in handy. A charred match. These are Bulling's notes. They are of little interest at the moment, but one never knows. A torn piece of blotting paper. Curious, curious. It looks like someone wanted to destroy this piece of blotting paper that had red ink on it. I can make out a few more letters, but backwards. I need something to help me. A mirror. A mirror. By putting this piece of blotting paper in front of the mirror, I can read what is written. Apparently, our journalist gets his information by telephone too. Sadly, the name is almost erased. Bulling's boss, Mr. Moore, seems to be protecting the journalist. A mirror. I would imagine these are compartments to organize the paper's incoming dispatches. If I telephone one of Bulling's contacts pretending to be his assistant, I might learn something of interest.
Walesby 1875, an ingenious way to save his contact. Central, Walesby 1875, if you will. Uh, thank you, I will wait. Walesby, I am listening. Hello, my dear man. I'm calling on behalf of Tom Bulling. Bulling? So you know where this hypocrite, this liar, this... Not at all. He is currently unobtainable. In the meantime, he has left me with a note asking me to pursue his work, and he told me that you were aware... That's just great. I dropped everything off at his agency, but he didn't even bother to do the same for me. Tell me he at least gave you the information that I was asking in return. I am ready, sir. I am listening. Do the police have a suspect for the bizarre theft of cigarettes and carrots that took place at the Commercial Street Market? I think, according to Bulling, that Inspector Lestrade's team is looking for a rabbit with a bad cough. Ah, oh, damned Bulling. One day he'll be in some serious trouble for mocking the police. And now, can you tell me, with regards to the parliamentary scandal, what did the head of the Whig Party respond to the Tories who were treating him as a great incompetent? According to Bulling, the head of the Whigs said, Vote for me, I will be your best representative. Good. That'll make for a good paper. There is one last question. According to a government social study, civil servants make the best husbands. Why? I believe I can confirm that it is because civil servants aren't tired and have already read the paper when they come home from work. <laughs> Very true. Good. It seems like Bulling has finally done his work. As everything is all in order, can you now tell me where the information is that you sent to the agency? Yes. There is a large brown envelope near the dispatch cabinet. It's in there that we exchange our tips with Bulling. A thousand thanks. Goodbye, sir. My salutations to Bully. There are several documents in this file. Let's see. I wonder why Bulling is studying this tale about spring Hill Jack so meticulously. What does that mean? Well, well, a piece of information about the murders transmitted exclusively to the police without informing the press. That has piqued my curiosity. Uh, perhaps I should go to the police station to get more information. What does that mean? I have inspected everything, but there is no sign of bullying. He must have dashed off to his HQ, the Wasp's Nest. However, before I go to see him, I should find out about this mysterious information. It could help me get something out of the journalist. To the station, then. <laughs> 